Hey everyone here from Tunnelvision TV and welcome back to the Premiere Pro video series and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use transitions on your video clips and also on your audio clips so I'm going to bring in clip number one and I'm going to bring in clip number two something like that and I'm just going to trim them down slightly and the reason I'm trimming them down is uh, if we want to do a transition like a fade in transition from one clip to the other you need some extra frames at the back and at the front of those two clips so that it can actually fade into the other video so I'm going to snap them together and then if you want to add a very basic fade transition between these clips I can right click in the center of these clips and then I can select apply default transitions and that's basically going to add a transition to the video and to the audio as you can see here we've got a cross dissolve on the video layer and we've got a dissolve on the it's called constant power on the audio as well so now if I scrub through here you'll see that it's actually going to fade slowly into that video clip and it's going to do the same with the audio it's going to fade from the one audio track into the other one so if I play through this you'll see you'll get that smooth transition animation so now if we want to delete, let's say we want to only delete the transition on the audio, I can click on this brown box and just press delete on the keyboard. It's only going to delete the transition on the audio. So if I play this back, it will still have the video transition. And if you want to delete the uh, transition from the video, I can do the same. Just click on that, delete it, and now it's going to just be a normal cut again. All right, so there are multiple or different kinds of transitions that you can use. Uh, if you go to your effects here at the bottom, I'm just going to move this up slightly you'll see that you have audio transitions and also video transitions. All right, so let's expand video transitions and you get all these different folders like 3D Motion, Dissolve, Iris, etc. So let's say you want to add a slide transition. I'm going to expand slide and then you've got these different options like center split, push, slide and split. So let's try this center split. So I'm going to click on this and drag it onto these two or this cut here. So if you can see if I drag over it, you can either add it to the end of the clip one or over both clip one and two, or at the beginning of clip number two. So I'm gonna set it over both clip one and two, so right in the center, and I'm gonna release it, and then it's gonna add that transition. So there you can see if I play through this, it's got that center split transition. All right, so I'm gonna delete that transition. I'm gonna click on this box and delete it. And uh, let's try this push transition. So I'm gonna click and drag it onto the center of this uh, these two video clips, and let's play through that. Okay, so that's like a normal push to the side and if you want to go into the properties of this transition you can click on this box to highlight it and then here under effect controls you can see all the properties of that transition so you can actually change uh, things like the border so let's go to the center you can add a border as you can see there um, if i make this a little bit thicker let's say like 20 it's actually adding like a black border you can change the color of the border let's make it red uh, now if you play through this you'll see that red border you can also change the duration so the start and the finish you can play with that uh, it will just add like interesting uh, some effects there and um, there's the duration right at the top so it's one second or 25 frames so i'm going to change this to 10 frames and uh, now if we play back you'll see that it's going to be a lot faster because it's only doing it over 10 frames you can also change the duration by just clicking on this transition and you'll see there's a little uh, it will change the mouse pointer to this icon and you can click and drag it and that will basically just extend the time or the duration of that transition okay so let's delete this transition and uh, let's go to 3d motion so let's try this cube spin so i'm going to click and drag it over this middle section and if we play through this you get like a kind of 3D effect, like a cube, just kind of rotating around it. All right, let's look at the audio transition. So I'm going to go into the audio transitions folder. We've got crossfade and you've got these ones. So constant power, constant gain and exponential fade. Now, usually I just use this constant power. So just drag this over the audio cut and it will basically just add an audio fade from the one to the other. So that will basically just make the audio transition really smooth. So if you have a harsh audio cut, just use that to smooth it out going into the next clip. So as you can see, it's not doing it with video. The video is just a normal cut, but the audio will be nice and smooth. Okay, let's say you wanna add a video transition at the end of one of your video clips. You can do that by just right clicking on the end of that video clip and click on apply default transition and you'll see it will again add a transition to both the video and the audio so i just want to do a fade out on the video i don't want to fade out on the audio so i'm going to click on this constant power delete it 
and now if I play back you'll see that the video will just fade out. You can do the same at the beginning of your video so let's go to the start zoom in here and I'm going to right click on the beginning and click on apply default transitions delete the audio and now if I play this back you'll see that it's kind of fade in. All right so that's how easy it is to use transitions both on video and audio in Premiere. I'll see you guys in the next video.